Thank you so much for that introduction. Let me share my screen. So here I was able to work uh, on this project that I'm really passionate about with my incredible mentor, uh, Dr. Prakash. And we titled The Long-Term Effects of the Sugar Economy uh, in Rico. So type of institution matters, as we've uh, learned from Asif Mudlo and Robinson primarily, and they define two main institutions. One is extractive institutions, which promotes rent-seeking behavior, and the other one are inclusive institutions, which promotes a level playing field. Uh, there are many examples. They use the mining in Latin America as an example and the implantation agriculture in the Caribbean as well uh, for destructive institutions and then inclusive institutions and commercial affirmative action to secure property rights. So in this project, uh, I studied the impact of the sugar plantations established across Puerto Rico in the 19th and the 18th century on measures of contemporary economic development. Here, I argue that sugar plantation is an example of an extractive institution, as Simogel and Robinson mentioned, that the plantation agriculture in the Caribbean is an example of them. So when the Spanish uh, conquered Puerto Rico, they took advantage of the climate and the soil and the uneducated population to establish small-scale sugar plantations and get the people there to work and obviously import slaves as well to work on the sugar plantations in the late uh, 19th century. Then in the 1898, uh, when the United States uh, took control of the island, they transformed these small scale sugar plantations to more industrialized sugar plantations with the American capital and the investors that they were bringing in. So in general, these uh, plantations, both the small scale that the Spanish uh, implemented and the industrialized that the United States developed, the main purpose was just to produce and organize the life of the people around them and obviously to extract the profits and uh, take that to the, to the metropolis. So here uh, takes us to the research question, which is why the sugar plantations, uh, how the sugar plantations impact living standards in Puerto Rico today. And according to the literature, I argue that they negatively impact living standards today due to the economic institution performance. So the uh, estimating equation is, is a simple OLS regression where the dependent variable varies from the median uh, annual household income, the unemployment rate, and the poverty rate at the town level for the 38 towns across the island from 2009 to 2017. And then the independent variable is used uh, account of the plantation variable. Uh, first, we run a regression with the small scale plantations, which were the ones established by the Spanish Empire. And then we run another regression with the 26 industrial plantations that were established by the United States in the uh, 20th century. And then X is just a simple vector with uh, control variables, including mean elevation and slope uh, to take care of those towns in the middle that were mainly focused on coffee instead of uh, sugar. So the main result is that the small scale, uh, small scale plantation has an effect, a negative effect on the on for on the on Puerto Rico well-being today, and that is that the towns that had small scale plantation earn four thousand less a year than those that did not, and they have a poverty rate higher by five percentage points and unemployment rate higher by three percentage points. The results are similar with the industrial plantation established by the United States, although they are uh, less detrimental. So the, the towns that had industrial plantation ha uh, earned three thousand dollars less a year relative to those that did not have an industrial plantation, and then the poverty rate is higher by three percentage points relative that, uh, to those that did not have an industrial plantation, and then the unemployment rate is two percentage points higher as well. And it's important to note that the amount of plantations a town had is not significant. So what does it mean is that the first two results are if a town had a plantation or it did not. So it doesn't matter if the town had five plantations versus one plantation, the results are not significant in that case. So this is consistent with Dell paper in 2010, uh, who finds that Peru's mining lowers household consumption and increases the prevalence of stunted growth in children in subjected districts today. So in her paper, he, she uses the mining in Peru as an extractive institution, and she shows that that lowers household consumption today in Peru. And this is just another evidence and a contribution to the literature that extractive institutions may in fact have a detrimental long-term uh, effect in the country. And these are the main references that I use, and that would be all that I have. Thank you so much. <laughs>